Hi guys, my name is Rui. In a few seconds, I'll show you how to get um, Google's Play Store and Google Mobile Services on a P40 Pro, a Huawei. But let me just uh, say something to my Portuguese speaking followers. Olá, já deve ter percebido o que é que se está a passar. Eu tenho tido muita gente a pedir-me na caixa de comentários uh, que lhe ensine em inglês como instalar os serviços móveis da Google num Huawei P40 Pro. É isso que vou fazer neste vídeo. Não ligue, siga para outras paragens se não lhe interessa este vídeo. Se está à procura de algo igual, bom, está aqui em português, ok? De resto, até já. Em breve voltamos aos vídeos. So, back to you guys. Gabs, I think you'll enjoy this one. Uh, sorry, no noise cancelling headphones, but um, here we go. First things first, you'll need a few things. You'll need either a USB-C uh, pen drive or a regular one, like the one I've got in my hand, and also an adapter. This is the important part. I'm sure you'll have a USB pen drive. This adapter turns regular USB into USB Type-C. So, of course, this is how I'll be doing it. You'll also need to download a folder that I will put in the description. Please um, go uh, click that link and download its contents. It's something like 00 Google, if I remember correctly. And you'll also need to copy that folder, 00 Google, into your pen drive. All right. Next, you'll need to pick up your phone you'll need to reset it. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but it's really easy. I can guide you through it. You'll just have to go to settings and then to system and updates, which is on the bottom. I'm not going to do this with you because I've already done it in mine. So after system and updates, you'll need to find reset and then you'll need to tap again on reset phone. If you do have a pin, I think you, um, the phone will ask you uh, to type in your pin. Please do that and then he'll reset. When the phone reboots and wakes up, please do set it up as you please. Just make sure to um, connect to your home Wi-Fi. You'll need it, okay, a bit later, but you'll need to be connected to your Wi-Fi. And now, I'm going to switch this to the phone and guide you through it. So after setting up your device, this is where you'll end up. Please do insert the USB pen drive or uh, the adapter here and tap files. Go to categories and then you'll see the USB drive tap on it. And this is our folder, 00 Google. Get inside it and tap for one or two seconds on the Huawei folder. Tap copy here at the bottom and then USB drive there at the top. Yeah, now that's fine. Paste and it asks if you wanna uh, merge and you say, please do merge. All right, this is done. Let me just, this is done. So now from here, you'll want to go to settings all the way to system and updates at the bottom, backup and restore, data backup, next, agree, external storage, USB storage, and here it is, the backup that you copied. Please do tap on it and tap here on apps and data because you want to deselect this first app, okay? Now you tap OK, you tap Restore, and you type in the password, which is A followed by seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, done, and here you are. You have the G app logo. Now you will want to go to files, again, USB drive, again, our 00 Google folder, but now you'll want to get inside the Google pack. We need to install all of these on this order, the first one and to the last one. So start at the top, do tap, don't ask again, and allow, install. 
Done. The second one, install. Done. The third one, install. Done. And the last one, done. Okay. Here they are. Four new icons. One of them is the Play Store. Now you want to go to the G app, activate and allow. You'll need to tap on this big blue button and on this small one that appears afterwards. And while it is doing this, you'll need to restart your device. Restart, restart. Okay, it has restarted and some errors should start appearing. Again, there are only two apps now. And these errors start to appear, these notifications. Let's go. Let's go to files, to our USB drive, to our Google folder and to fix. But before you tap on either of these files, this is really pesty. Uh, all right, before you tap on any of these files, I want you to go to settings. So let's go to settings to apps again to apps which is there at the top it might get uh, under a notification here i want you to tap on these three little dots and show system processes here on the search on the search field you'll need to go to google Okay, now you should tap on Google Services Framework, Storage, Clear Cache, Cache, Clear Data, okay, and then go, and then go back, four stop and uninstall okay now we're going to our files and you'll want to tap on this google account manager install it is done from there you'll want to go to settings users and accounts add an account google tap here okay say it's an existing one it's preparing setting things up and then you'll want to um, type in your email and password your google or gmail and your password i'm not going to show you this signing in Unselect this because it won't work. Next. Now that's done. Let's close all of this. Go to Files, USB Drive, Google, Fix, Install, Done. There it is. Let's just restart. So from here, when it reboots, there are two uh, things that can happen. Either it starts um, shooting you up with the notification errors, and that means everything is fine, actually, and you should go to Play Store, and your Play Store should be working, or it can happen like it happened to me. 
which no notification errors have appeared and if I tap on the Play Store, it won't work. But this is what you'll need to do if this happens. You'll need to go to settings, you'll need to go to apps, where is it? Right there. Apps again. We'll search for Google. But also, again, you'll need to tap on these three little dots and show system processes. We'll uninstall this Google account manager. First, we'll stop it. Now, we'll click uninstall. I've seen it take much less time than it's taken. All right, it's done. And now we're going to users and accounts and we'll add a new account. And now it starts complaining. You just want to press OK here. These notifications errors will continue, but if you go to the Play Store, it works. If and you will want to silence and make these notifications errors disappear and this is what you'll have to do. There's no other option. You just flip it to the left and press on that uh, gear. You'll have to put, you'll have to choose disable notifications. Disable. And they're gone. But they'll keep coming. You might want to install Google Maps. Here it is. You install it. Again, more errors. Let him install. It is done. Maybe also install some chroming. All right, but ah, I forgot about this. Yeah, S sometimes it does the application just shuts down, but it as installed. Accept and you have Chrome, but it shows you some notifications. You'll have to do this every time you start a new app. So YouTube is there again, notification errors. And to silence them, you'll need to just ah, here. Swing it to the left and disable notifications, disable. And they shouldn't appear anymore. And it works. All right. So here it is. It's not a 100% incredible results method. It's a bit long and you do lose Google's um, notifications from its apps. Uh, I'm not sure I would recommend it to anyone, but if you really do need it, here it is. That's just it. And to finish things off, please do like this video if you think it will help other people and do consider subscribing because if there is a method that has better results, I'll be sure to post it here on my YouTube channel. So I think you'll be better off subscribing. Also, I'll be in the comments section. So if you need me, just say hello. See you next time.